Hi guys, so today I'm doing a quick video on the Solway Firth Spaceman. Now, this was a famous uh, photo taken by uh, a man named Jim Templeton. I'm gonna read some of what it says on Wikipedia about this case. <clears throat> The Solway Spaceman, or the Cumberland Spaceman, is a figure seen in a photograph taken in 1964 by fireman, photographer and local historian Jim Templeton. He was actually born 13 Feb 1920, died 27 November 2011. That's not a bad innings. The picture was taken on Burr Marsh, situated near Burr by Sands, overlooking the Solway Firth in Cumbria, England. Templeton claimed the photograph showed a backward figure wearing a spacesuit and insisted that he did not see anyone present when the photograph was taken. The image was reproduced widely in contemporary newspapers and gained the interest of ufologists. Journalist David Clark posted an explanation for what the anomaly in a 2014 BBC interview concluding that the figure was the photographer's wife standing with her back toward the camera, her blue dress appearing white due to overexposure. Um, and I was interested in that theory to begin with. But I'm pretty sure if you cover, if you uh, look at the photo closely, uh, it, it's not the case. And beside, if it was his wife, he would have to be lying because front or back with the person, the spaceman, whatever mysterious chap is about seven foot from the girl. So I don't think unless Templeton was like a complete liar that theory really is a poor one by the establishment which is what they specialize in is poor theories to deal with anything supernatural. What a load of wankers. Anyway, on 23rd of May 1964 took photograph five-year-old daughter on a day trip to Burr Marsh Burg or Burr, probably pronounced Burr Burr Marsh Templeton said the only other people on the marshes that day were a couple of old women sitting in a car at the far end of the marsh yeah that must have been my, uh, my grandma and her uh, friends with uh, mobile perm things getting a perm done out in the open in a letter to the Daily Mail in 2002, Templeton stated, I took three pictures of my daughter Elizabeth in a similar pose and was shocked when the middle picture came back from Kodak displaying what looks like a spaceman in the background. Templeton insisted he did not see the figure until after the photographs were taken and analysts at Kodak confirmed that the photograph was genuine. So, as I remember, um, I do actually remember that Kodak did take, uh, they sent it to be analysed properly, it was partly, obviously it was good marketing for them, and obviously they found this object has, had not been uh, stuck on top, um, it, you know, these are before Photoshop as well, so to fake a photo like that is harder in those days. So, <coughs> according to UFO book author Destroy David Clark in report. 2014, the spaceman is most likely Templeton's wife. Yeah, we've touched on that already. Blah, 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 blah. You know, just the same theory again. I don't know why they post it twice. Right, Templeton stated, I took the picture to the police in Carlisle, who after many doubts examined it and stated there was nothing suspicious about it. The local newspaper, the Cumberland News, picked up the story and with hours it was all over the world. The picture is certainly not a fake and I am bemused as anyone, as anyone else as to how this figure appeared in the background. 
Over the four decades the photo has been in the public domain, I have had many thousands of letters from all over the world with various ideas or possibilities, most of which make little sense to me. Templeton said that after the photographer, uh, photo photograph was published, he was visited by two men who said they were from the government who refused to show their identification and that they said they worked for the government and that they were only to be identified by number. After talking, after taking the men, uh, I interject because I actually know a lot of this bit, so they actually drove, uh, drove with uh, Jim, they, they requested that he drive um, to the site where the photo was taken and I'm not sure if it was his car or not. But at any rate, they got out at that point. So let's see, he said when he explained he had not seen the figure at the time, the men became angry and drove away, leaving him to walk home. Oh yeah, so, so it was their car, and they, they left him to walk home. How kind. In September 1964, Templeton dismissed the two men as fraud, saying, it all looks like a leg pull to me. I'm sure the men were not security agents. In a BBC Look North interview and a letter to the Daily Mail, Templeton also said that a Blue Street missile launch at the Woomera test site in South Australia had been aborted because the figures of two large men were seen on the firing range. He alleged that the technician later saw his photograph in an Australian newspaper and found the figures to be exactly the same interesting so I guess you could say that they are some kind of um, alien life form that will uh, move into an area to maybe block certain missiles being launched and things just cause a bit of a distraction um, there's all coin there are strange forces at work in the world and the establishment usually will cover it up which is of course what they do in this case they do it in every case you know um, they find, you know, if someone shoots a, uh, what they think could be a chupacabra, the gov take it, and then it comes back, oh, it was just a dog with rabies, every single time, so you can't trust the official explanations, they're very poor, you know, so he alleged the technician, late sorry for, uh, in 96, Templeton and his now adult but daughter were interviewed by a reporter from uh, Dumfries newspaper, said that Elizabeth um, taking custody of his 20,000 yeah so he pretty much uh, he, he went to the death uh, with with you know he said it wasn't set up and he still believed that like uh, there was something uh, supernatural about it um, and I would say I would agree to be honest but um, the key thing is that those men who uh, took him in the car, I think what is most likely that they weren't just regular men, they were probably men in black, MIBs, which are commonly known sometimes when there's um, sightings to do with UFO or aliens, what, what we call, what we define as UFO or aliens activity. Sometimes afterwards people would encounter these government agents who will, <laughs> well, they, they seem less than human at times, let's put it that way. And I'm sure most who are listening can probably <coughs> dig a bit, but you know there was actually more on the camera that day. He'd taken two extra reels, that was the only reel uh, the mysterious photo was just in the one reel. There were actually two reels. So two thirds of his pictures that day uh, were uh, either taken by these agents or he just never got them back. They must have, perhaps they went to Kodak and... and but uh, that's another interesting thing that isn't always mentioned is that he, he had more photos on that day. I've been um, along this area, it's just where, in Cumbria, where 
Cumbria sort of meets uh, Scotland and Dumfries is a bit of the way up the road but you can see um, at night time around that bend there is some sort of air base there um, I've seen strange lights in the sky around there and things and um, call me crazy but it uh, I, I don't want to dwell on that too much but it, it is a bit mysterious there is some sort of activity going on there um, but I believe officially it, it mainly stems that there's a big aeronautical base there <coughs> it begins with a K I forget Kinnock, Kellock, something like that it's it's actually in Scotland but it's right near the border but anyway yeah Men in Black um, I think that adds validity to the case as long as Jim wasn't lying there because Men in Black are actually commonly uh, reported as, as uh, being around at these sort of uh, these sort of incidents so make of it what you will it's an interesting story and cheers and I will be putting some more content up soon maybe get some more gaming stuff back up cheers guys bye